What's the best tempo for music, according to science? Is there a magical BPM that will simply work better than others and compel you to dance? In other words, is there an ideal tempo for dancing? Keep on watching and you'll find out. If this is your first time here and you want to learn all about FL Studio and music production in general, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell as well. Music causes you to move, whether you want to or not. There are many factors at play here, but when it comes to music that compels people to dance, the tempo seems to be much more important than you think. But what exactly is tempo? How do we measure it? Tempo is measured in beats per minute, or BPM for short. Here's a typical tropical house beat running at 100 beats per minute. As you can hear, this is fairly slow, and if you've been at any festival where they play tropical house, you've probably noticed that oftentimes people really don't dance to it. Instead, they tend to kind of sway back and forth. That's because it's a rather slow tempo, and therefore it's not the easiest to dance to. Here is a typical house beat playing at 120 BPM. You can tell that there's more energy here. You probably feel slightly more energized now, right? This is a typical uplifting trance beat playing back at 138 BPM. The tempo is rather fast and music like this is usually very energizing. People tend to jump up and down to this. So what is the ideal tempo? I'm getting to that shortly. Music is all about emotion and a good piece of music should be able to evoke some kind of emotional response in the listener or be able to alter the listener's state of mind in some way. It could make you sad, happy, relaxed, or energized. The kind of music you hear at a funeral will obviously be different from what's typically played in a club. You've probably noticed, though, that sometimes when you hear a song, you just feel compelled to get up and dance, right? But why is that? What's causing it? A lot of this has to do with the harmonic structure of the track itself, the melodies and the rhythmic components and so on. The interesting thing here is that the tempo itself seems to be much more important than you think, according to scientists that conducted the study. Even if you try to stand perfectly still, there will always be subtle, involuntary movements all the time. Researchers found that these movements got amplified when music was played, and certain tempos had a much stronger effect than others. In an experiment, they gathered 100 people and told them to stand as still as possible for seven minutes. To incentivize them, the winner would get a lucrative sum of money because, well, people will do anything for money, right? Yeah! While they were standing there, they were subjected to silence, followed by simple drum hits, and then more complex percussion rhythms, which sounded more like actual music in various tempos. The researchers found that with the more music-like rhythms, these involuntary movements became substantially amplified. So they tested various tempos and the conclusion was clear. At 120 beats per minute, or BPM for short, the movements peaked. This supports previous research that has been done on this as well. So it might not come as a surprise that huge hits like Bon Jovi's It's My Life and Lady Gaga's Bad Romance all play back around 120 beats per minute. But what's so special about 120 BPM? Well, we usually walk around two steps per second. And when we instinctively tap our fingers, we seem to more often than not tap around 120 BPM. There are many theories as to why 120 is the ideal tempo for dancing. 
Some researchers believe it's because we're subjected to our mother's heartbeat while we're in the womb. Others believe it has to do more with the simple fact that we're so used to walking in a certain tempo that this simply becomes the tempo we instinctively default to when dancing. By repeating the same movements day after day, it's possible that this just makes us more sensitive to that particular tempo. Other research points to the fact that certain areas of the brain light up when we're subjected to rhythms. And sure enough, when the tempo is around 120 BPM, it lights up more. Another interesting fact was that the researchers found that people who were more empathetic were the ones who were least able to stand still. So if you're always the first one out on the dance floor, chances are that you're also a decent human being. I'm curious though, what do you prefer and why? What are your thoughts on the matter? Let me know in the comments below. If you need professional feedback on your music, mastering, and so on, then check out the links below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you like this video. And as always, let us know in the comments below what kind of tutorial you would like us to make next. Thanks for watching.